going on everybody, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Microsoft and their plans to make the Xbox One the place to be for the best gaming experience in 2016. Now, to start this video, I just got done beating Ori and the Blind Forest. Let me tell you guys this. I've had very few experiences, if any, on the PlayStation 4, which were just as touching and as moving as the experience I had in Ori and the Blind Forest. Yeah, it might have had some situations where the story needed to be fleshed out a little bit more, but the overall atmosphere and the way the game played, the way the game felt, was totally amazing. Ori and the Blind Forest is my favorite game in the Xbox One, bar none. Uh, I just love it at this point. I just beat it last night, so it's still fresh in my mind. Now I want to talk to you guys about Microsoft's plans to make the Xbox One the place to be in the streets of gaming. Microsoft Xbox One working to be the best console gaming experience and it's vital to success. Microsoft says that they are still working to make the Xbox One the best gaming experience available and they have clarified their support for consoles in the future. Fans are starting to see more cross-platform titles announced for the next-gen device, the latest being ReCore which will also launch through Windows 10. 2015 saw the release of several major Microsoft updates for Xbox One, including backwards compatibility, Windows 10, and a general overhaul of key features such as party chat and UI layout. This has all gone toward creating a better console experience for fans, something Xbox chief Phil Spencer says will continue. Replying to fans on Twitter, Spencer wrote, quote, Console is critical to our success now and in the future. We will work to make Xbox One the best console gaming experience we can make to justify purchase. The team is committed, end quote. Using the example of Ark Survival Evolved, a more traditional PC title currently being played in the Xbox preview program, Spencer spoke on the cross-play ability and how it can benefit both gamers and developers. Quote, I think it's just additive. As you allow players to play from either their Windows or Xbox, it's good for the IP. More games, larger community, more choice. I like the idea of X buy and X play. Won't dictate business or criticize, but we want to enable teams to do what's right for their game, end quote. Rise of the Tomb Raider is to launch on PC on January 28th, while out of the 11 exclusive Xbox One titles announced for the console in 2016, 7 will also be available for Windows 10. So these are the games that will be available in 2016 on Xbox One and Windows 10. And I got Windows 10, and I'll tell you right now, I think that the cross-play ability is really awesome. Fable Legends, which will be out spring 2016, will be on Xbox One, Windows 10. ReCore will be Xbox One, Windows 10. Sea of Thieves will be Xbox One, Windows 10. Gigantic for both. Killer Instinct Season 3 will be Xbox One, Windows 10. Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition? This is the first time I've ever heard of this. It'll be available for both. Cobalt will also be available for Xbox One and Windows 10. I think that what they've been doing for the Xbox One, you couldn't do any better. I think that when Microsoft first started with the Xbox One's launch, they had the worst possible launch that they could have, and they got rid of Don Matrick, and they put the absolute best guy that they could have put in that seat. Phil Spencer has completely turned around the, the public uh, perception of the Xbox One. It's actually a gaming console. They're not talking about TV and BS that we don't care about. They got awesome games on it, and it's just a hell of a system. And with all this new functionality, these new updates that they're adding, it's adding more value to the console. I love my Xbox One. I love it even more now than I did before. After completing Ori and the Blind Forest, one of my favorite games of the year. You guys let me know what you think about Xbox. Do you have one? Do you enjoy gaming on it? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. And definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.